once again, it's Misha from the Talk of San Diego right here at Animal Talks and live on iHeartRadio. I'm standing in front of Puppies for Patriots and... Mike Morris. Michael. Mike or Mike? My mom calls me Michael, but I go by Mike. There you go. So tell us about Puppies for Patriots. Well, thanks for stopping by. Puppies for Patriots is a nonprofit PTSD puppy program where we're going to be able to affect the lives of military veterans that are suffering from PTSD. There are 7,200 vets that killed themselves last year. About 20 vets a day kill themselves. And it's from depression, it's from anxiety, and it's from loneliness. They're basically stay-home vets that don't like to go out because it's just not comfortable for them. Dogs have been proven to relieve this anxiety. And so what we're doing is we've developed a five-year program that allows us to have our dogs. We don't just give dogs away and say, good life. We breed the dogs specifically and train them from day one to go with a vet when it's a year old and the vet has been taken into consideration all of his different uh, challenges. His or hers, right? His or hers challenges, correct. And so, yeah, we just met a Vietnam vet who was a woman. And the first time I ever met a Vietnam veteran was a woman. So there's very few that I actually admit it. But anyway, our, back to our program. It's designed around a three-year program initially that allows us to put a dog into someone's hands that will not leave their house, that is very uncomfortable leaving. And so for the first year, it's just go outside of the house, go to the store, get food, go to the store, buy clothes, go to the DMV, get your driver's license. And at the end of that year, we'll transition into another therapist and another dog that allows them to go out into the world. They can go out and enjoy an event like this. They can go to the concert, they can go to the beach, they can go out and experience life and the happiness. The third year, it's about getting a job. So they've already gone to some job interviews. They're comfortable with this, this process. We send them to job placement jobs. Jobs that we've set up job placement for. And they can bring their dog with them, whether it's driving on a bulldozer or sitting in an office. Our dog's been trained to handle that type of an environment. Now, at the end of the third year, they're graduating from our main program. We give them a six-month to a year-old puppy that's been specifically trained to receive to alleviate the triggers that set them off, whether anxiety starts, whether it's crowds or explosions, fireworks, the dog is going to bring that level down. And so the next two years they have continued therapy. Our veterinarians check the dogs for the entire program. We, our dog trainers are training them through the whole program. So it's really a combination of dog trainers, mental therapists, and veterinarians that support our veterans to become you know, humans again. Because a lot of times they just don't feel human and they just kill themselves. There you go. It's a hard. It's hard. But the dogs, I know, they alleviate loneliness. They make happy, comfortability, a love that cannot be replaced most of the time. We're working with recovering veteran veterans, and we're also doing a rescue, rehome, and foster program. Okay, because there's we love golden retrievers. Golden retrievers are our our thing. So we're looking for foster dogs. Uh, foster parents that want to take a dog for a couple of months. We're going to have our vet come over and do a whole of our veterinarian, do a health check on the dog, do a mental check on the dog, make sure it's a good dog. If you've got kids or animals in the house, make sure it's stable. And we want to evaluate it to see if it can help Puppies for Patriots to be a donation dog in our booths. A smiling golden retriever is the best thing you can do to get people to try to help us. So if the dog is suitable for that, that'd be awesome. We plan to have as many booths as we can. We'd like to do Puppies for Patriots on a on an ongoing basis down at the mid USS Midway downtown in that park down there. So stop down and down there. There's a good chance you're going to catch us. Our website's just coming online right now. It's puppies for number four patriots.org or .com. They both go to the same one. We've got our GoFundMe page. It's being listed right now. It's GoFundMe forward slash puppies for patriots dash org and. Come on down and spin the wheel. Every spin wins. Down here at the, the Pet Expo. Yo, you said, where are we again? The, the Amazing Pet Expo. In San Diego, Del Mar, it's, it's right? Del Mar Fairgrounds, yeah. I'm talking again to Mike from Puppies for Poor Patriots. I'm going to get him connected with Luna Warrior. Or something. And we're a nonprofit also. We're oh, working on so our paperwork. We're working on our paperwork to be a nonprofit. We're going to be eventually, very soon, hopefully, have an online $10,000 grand prize for a Caribbean vacation and all the proceeds go to help 
Puppies for Patriots. There we go. So you have a lot of stuff in the oh, pipeline. A lot, there. a lot of stuff. There's That's a lot awesome. Of a lot of growth coming yep. your way. Any sponsors, any volunteers, if you can't get a hold of us right this week, our website's going to be up and the applications will be. Just keep remembering us and check in. Once we get everything established, it'll be easy to get a hold of us. There you go. And that's Puppies for Patriots, the number four. That's it. And just check it online, check it on Facebook, social media. If you can't volunteer, follow. If you can't follow, donate. If you can't donate, screw you. All right, this is Misha again from the Animal Talks on the Talk San Diego with Mike from... Puppies for Patriots. We'll see you soon, people.